mathematicians, it's Ms. Trivet, first grade teacher at Lions School, here to review with you um, what the equal sign means. Equal, remember it doesn't necessarily mean the same, it means it has the same value on both sides. So it could be different numbers or different expressions, number sentences, as long as they both have the same amount, the same value on both sides which kind of was reminding me of a seesaw. Have you ever been to a playground um, that has a seesaw or some people call it a teeter-totter? So fun, right? Let's take a look at this picture and kind of get our mind thinking about how this would relate to math. Take a look. Does this remind you of the teeter-totter picture with the elephant and the ant? It is called a pan balance. And a pan balance is a tool that measures the weight on either side and compares it. So on this left side and on this right side. And there's a line in the middle here that tells us if the weight on both sides is equal. And so a pan balance can tell you what's heavier, what's lighter, or if they are of equal weight. So let's try this out. Here I have seven blue cubes. And here I have five red and two blue. They're not the same. One has seven blue, one has two blue and five red. But are they equal? Is seven equal to five plus two? Let's try it out in the pan balance. I'm gonna put the seven on this side and you'll notice it sunk down because it's heavier because right now there's zero on that side. But let's see if five plus two is equal to seven. Oh, here we go, it's figuring it out. And I see that that line is stopping in the middle. So those have an equal weight. Seven is equal to five plus two. Well, since five plus two is equal to seven, they have the same value, it's an equivalent name. Five plus two is an equivalent name to seven, just like four plus three would be, or nine minus one. It kind of reminds me of a nickname. Hmm. Oh, here comes my friend Seven now. Maybe I'll use a nickname to greet them. Hey, five plus two, what's up? You're right, you're right. That's not your name. It's just an equivalent name, but I'll make sure I call you by your name in the future. Speaking of equivalent names, let's learn how we can fill out a name collection box to list all the different ways to refer to a number. In this name collection box, I'm going to write the number in the small box in the corner. I'm sticking with my pal seven. And then I'm going to think of all the ways I could write an equivalent name for seven. So something that has the same value. I could make seven tally marks. Five, six, seven. Uh, oh yeah, five plus two. I said make seven. Oh, and then I could do some subtraction. Seven could be nine minus two. I could keep going, but maybe I'm going to do it with place value blocks. One, two, if I roll a die, maybe I'll roll a five and a two. That would make seven. How else could I make seven? Oh, I know, with pennies. I would need seven pennies. I'm just writing a P and circling it to show that they're pennies. Five, 
six, seven. Oh, I wonder if I could add three numbers to make seven. How about one plus two, that would equal three. So I would need four more, plus four. One plus two plus four. I could draw a domino. And think of it like a part, part total. Maybe there's six on this side and one on that side. Hmm, how else could I represent seven? So many equivalent names. You're going to do the same for your number that you write in the corner. Have fun.